Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTech.com. In this lecture, we will understand differentiability of a function. So, this is very similar to continuity. Differentiability or derivative of a function is basically the slope of that function at that point, right? So, now what do we understand here? Let's say this is a curve given, okay? We have a curve and uh, we want to find out whether the differentiability of this function exists at point x equal to a. So, to check this, what we will do? We will find out left hand derivative and right hand derivative for this. So, the concept we will understand here. What we are trying to do, we are, we are saying, when we say whether it is differentiable at that point or not, it means we are asking whether the function has, let's say this is a, whether the function has a step on this point, okay? So, if function is having something like this, a corner, okay, it means the slope just before this point and just after this point will not be equal, okay? So, if the slope is not equal just before this point and after this point, that means the slope has sudden change here, it means the function is not differentiable at this point, okay? So, how do we find out it? This is, let's say this is a, this is a plus h, where h is very small, almost tends to 0. So, this will be equal to, this is h. This is, what is the value of this? This is f of x plus h and this is the value of basically f, not a, f of a plus h, this is f a, right? Again, similarly, this is the value of what? f of, the f of a minus h, okay? So, now, how do we find out the value? Okay? So, left hand we will find out first of all right hand derivative okay sorry we will find out let's start with left hand so we will find out first left hand left hand lst derivative okay so this will be equal to we will find this minus this okay so f of a minus f of a minus h okay upon h okay where limit h tends to 0, okay? So, this value will give us the slope or left hand derivative. Similarly, what will be right hand derivative? Right hand derivative will be right hand derivative height. We, we have to find out slope, right? So, what is slope? Slope is equal to 10 theta. 10 theta, 10 theta is equal to this height upon base, okay? So, this will be equal to f of a plus h minus f of a upon h where limit h tends to 0, okay? So, this is left hand derivative, this is right hand derivative, okay? Basically, we have calculated slope just after this, this, just after this, uh, mm, this a point and just before this a point, okay? And now, we say, if this function is continuous at that point, okay? If the function is function is continuous at x equal to a and the second condition is if LHT is equal to RHT, okay, left hand derivative is equal to right hand deri derivative, then we say that the function is, function is differentiable, differentiable at what? x equal to a. And what will be the differentiation? We denote differentiation as, as f dash of a. Okay, so what will be? f dash of a equal to one of the LHL or RH, RHT or LHT. Okay, so maybe LHT or equal to RHT. Okay, so the geometrical meaning of this is the function should be, should not has a the function should not has a corner, okay, or step on at this particular point. This is not deri derivative at x equal to, let's say this is a, okay. So, we are saying that function is smooth at this point, okay. The slope before this function and before this function and after, before this point a and after this point a is equal, okay. So, if the slope is equal, we say that this is 
differentiable at x equal to a. Now we have an important relation here. So if a function is differentiable at a point x equal to a, it means that the function will be continuous. Fine. So if it is continuous, it is not necessary that it will be differential, uh, differentiable for for example this here the function is continuous but it is not differentiable at x equal to a but if it is differentiable the reverse is true that is it will be continuous always okay so what we write let's say this right as important point okay so if if function is differentiable right it implies that it is continuous fine but if function is continuous, it doesn't imply that it will be differentiable. Fine. I hope you understand it. If you have any doubt, ask your doubt in doubt section. Thanks for watching.